Not a. You disappoint me. Have you forgotten my face? Leave me be. <laughs> you won't respond to anyone else, so I figured it must be me you wanted to see. Support but now you won't arrived. even look at me. Have I not suffered enough? Not until you've eased my suffering first. To tell you the truth, old man, I'm in a bit of a bind. It's about your children. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The parasites. The ones that infect a man's throat, killing him if he speaks their language. They must not be allowed to multiply. Hmm. You are allowed to live only in order to help me. But you don't want to, do you? So why not choose death instead? Because you want to protect the Digne and their land from me. That's your purpose, isn't it? Don't lose sight of that now. It's in your interest to cooperate. Because if you don't... Madness. The parasites can't detect your people's tongue. So I'll just have to resort to more heavy-handed means. I have the greatest respect for your people. I would rather avoid such a thing, but... We don't always get our way. I was born a tiny moat in a mighty tempest. And until those winds abate, all I can choose is how to act when they blow me this way or that. Tell me, code talker. What happens to a man infected with a pair of your parasites? Can they be removed? Can the full-blown symptoms be prevented? It is impossible to remove the parasites alone. They have too close an affinity with humans. Then how do you stop the symptoms from developing? All right. I was hoping for an answer now, but perhaps you just need a little more time. I'll be back soon. I've set up shop, not far from here. We'll be seeing a lot more of each other. If you are close by, then it is almost complete. We're in the final phases. All that's left is to see if I can actually disable a nuke. With the help of your metallic archaea. Once that's done, I won't have to return here again. Support and your suffering will end. As will your peoples. We're almost finished, Code Talker. Each in our own way. My only regret will be not finishing you. Please. There's nothing stopping you. Roger. I'm only alive because you want me that way. Ridiculous. As you wish. My regret is this misunderstanding between us. You and I, our goal is the same. We should be working together. A symbiosis. You do not know my mind. I simply want the Dine bloodline to endure. <laughs> really now? You're just another moat in the store. How you react to all the slings and arrows, that's what counts. That's why you call those squirming monsters your children. What I have done is forbidden. Forgive me, all of you. The world should be left the way it is. You of all men should know that. Complete. If we don't bring them back, they'll just end up getting killed.
Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Snake, you remember the White Mamba? Of course, he's been going by Eli since we brought him on base. He was the leader of the child soldier unit we took out of that village and into our protection. Well, according to the kids you brought back here, all the escapees were especially close to Eli. There's reason to suspect he's behind all six escapes. We've already detained him. I'll be questioning him shortly. Wait, wait. You'll be? Ocelot. You're incapable of taking an impartial stance with those kids. Question them all you want. It'll get you nowhere. Ocelot, you get too many kicks from your art of interrogation. It's not a matter of art. It's about quick, minimal strokes of psychological warfare. That's what gets the answers. And it's the best way to keep both questioner and subject safe. The risks only increase the more an interrogation drags on. At that point, it causes as much pain to the inflictor as the inflicted. Huh. Like I said, too many kicks. What I'm trying to tell you is we need quick results. Otherwise, it'll be too little, too late. I know that. And besides, I know the subject. I won't go overboard with a kid. Forget it. You're not needed. Snake, I want to question the other kids, too. Be sure to bring them all back. Be careful down there, boss. Forgive me. But my schedule has changed. The time for grace and good manners has now run out. Please. Torture will not work on me. Sure you know this. Oh, I have no intention of getting rough with you. You haven't been beaten. Your hands aren't even tied. Just like me, you live in symbiosis with countless parasites. What wounds I might inflict, they'll patch right up. You might feel considerable pain, but I've no doubt you can withstand it. Then what do you plan on doing? I have a soldier standing outside. Nothing special about him, except that he always obeys. I have given him one instruction. Whenever I ring this bell, he passes on a message for me. That message is simply... Go. What is this? After that, though, it gets complicated. The message will arrive at a room, a little bigger than this one, nothing special. Some of your people are in this room, surrounded by my men. Enough of this. They pick them at random. According to the intel team, the escaped kids should be around here. Locate and secure them. Different from you. Not as discriminating. They tied them up, one by one, blindfolded them. We had to maintain order, you understand? You bastard. Go. When they hear that, my men will pick one of your Not people and infect them with a parasite. Your parasite. It won't work on my people. True. The vocal cord Enemy parasite doesn't respond to your Not language. But what about English? An English strain. It exists. A ring of this bell, and they infect one person. If that person abandons the Navajo language, 
The English strain will trigger Analysis symptoms. Complete. You monster! Complete. So, it's quite simple. Every time I ring the bell, another of your people is infected. Don't do this! I don't want to do this. I'd rather not have to ring the bell. Which is why I'm hoping you will talk to me. What do you want? What else could you possibly want? You know the answer to that. How to prevent the symptoms caused by the parasite. You cannot control it like some slave. Forget the idea. Forget it? Unlikely. I will never tell you. What have you done? You made me do that. You black-hearted... Settle down. Don't use it again. Well, that is up to you. All you need to do is tell me what I want. How to prevent the vocal cord parasite symptoms. Why? Why do you need to know? The adult soldiers at Gwalayamasa are all dead. What? The parasite traveled downstream. How? It would appear that he was involved. You're gonna extract him? Not from nine years of slumber. As a result, the vocal cord parasite spread through the village. I told you this would happen. It was an unfortunate accident. He is becoming an annoyance. He may stumble upon the truth sooner or later, but I suppose that is really of no consequence. One day, he too will pay for what he has done. Black Anna, the real demon is you. You know, this incident made me realize something. You are right. I should have acted with more humility. These creatures cannot be controlled. All the more reason I require a means to stop them. There is no such way. Oh, really? Wait! Don't ring it again. It is up to you. Out with it! I see now. There must be more to it than that. What? They are in you. You use this hand to breed more of my children. And not just here. No. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Cleansers. You sifted through many language strains. Finding hosts. Breeding. More and more. You would have been infected in the process. Infected with countless strains. <sighs> Most likely your mother tongues as well. Romania, Northern Transylvania. You found that one too. Yes, the Hungarian strain that responds to the sea. He's case. coming too. Roger that. Black Anna. It is you who shall pay. <laughs> Is this your retaliation, old man? Let my people go and never bother them again. You heard me. You gotta extract him. What are you doing? <laughs> I am not afraid. I probably have every language strain inside of me. Meaning all the world's languages are already lost to me. But that suits me fine. If need be, I myself can produce whatever strain is needed. And that means nothing to you. If you are infected, you can never again speak your mother tongue. Otherwise, you will die. As will every one of your countrymen. A few words here and there won't trigger the symptoms. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. It's not yet right to show this face in my homeland. 
Not until my revenge is complete. Now. Stop! We are out of time. I have to get going. <sighs> well... No! Uh... Radiation. It's radiation. Radiation? Of course. So it can be used. But how much? I do not know. Radiation denatures their reproductive cells, preventing them from mating. Same principle as the sterilization technique. The reproductive cells are more sensitive to radiation than the rest of the body. But I have not tested it. There is no telling what mutation could result, or how the host may be affected. Not to mention what could happen if this is done post-infection. I don't care. This plan goes into action now. As long as it works, the details can wait. You wouldn't be lying to me, of course, old man. I can guarantee nothing. I owe you my life. My body has been burned on countless occasions, but it survives thanks to your children. That is why I trust you. Extraction failed. Then do not repeat my mistake. What's that? In the West, it is said that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. In the East, it is said the man of flesh brings spiritual power to words. The people knew back then that these creatures carry the gospel. They do not belong in our hands. They must not be touched. <laughs> How enlightening. I'll remember that. Consider this my thanks. What are you catch? <laughs> no! He's coming too. Roger that. Well then, I'm afraid it really is goodbye this time, Code Talker. he wasn't as obedient as I thought. There never was any soldier. So long. You! How dare you! If you bring them all back, there will be consequences. 
has to be asking for our surrender. Consequences? What consequences? No idea. That's all I have for now. You're too attached to those kids. Stop protecting oh, Ian. Listen to yourself. Let me question it, and we'll get some real answers. Not necessary. I'll report as and when. Extraction. We've inoculated the staff with Wombachia to keep them from becoming symptomatic. Hmm. That should... According to the intel team, the escaped kids should be around here. But in the first... Locate and secure them. It has to have been a cypher spy within our ranks. If this is so, then why the Kakango strain? If their intent was to wipe you out. Skullface said the remaining English parasite was close to the boss. If this latest strain was his doing, he wouldn't have tipped his hand. It is possible someone brought eggs onto the base without knowing. Stuck to their shoes, clothing. Well, that makes the most sense to me. And where did the eggs come from? You mentioned that your boss visited Nzoya Badiopulu. Sure, but his gears disinfected immediately upon return. <laughs> then he was not the carrier. And not just the boss. All staff dispatched to high-risk regions were quarantined on the flight back. When the symptoms first appeared, we checked and disinfected all equipment used up to that point. Any and all prisoners, soldiers, materials, and animals extracted during missions were also quarantined. So, that just leaves. I have seen children around here. Where are they from? All over. Some were being held hostage at a mine. Then there were the troublemakers at Buala Yamasa. Buala Yamasa? Yeah. Their clothes, their things. Did you burn them? They're just kids. We couldn't. And besides, not one of them's shown symptoms. The parasites don't infect prepubescent hosts. Their vocal cords are not fully developed. Well, if infection doesn't occur in children, it is possible they carried eggs on their clothes, and the infection spread from them. Check the kid's stuff. I doubt there is any trace left by now. But if there is, some of those kids must be close to hitting puberty. How could we have missed this? children's section of the living quarters. As you know, weapons are strictly off-limits. We've got some rule breakers. The weapons we found were handmade. Blades ground out of knives and forks, a couple of bow guns built out of scrap, and explosives made using detergents. And get this, the explosives were tightly packed with nails. The kids put the blame on, you guessed it, Eli. I guess that's what he meant by consequences. I question him about it. But this time he claimed they want to be put out on missions. Send us to the battlefield, he says. 
Miller, enough is enough. You've protected him too much already. It's my turn to question him. Protected? What Eli's doing is issuing a threat. Comply with my demands or I'll respond with force. But it'll be war at this rate. Forks and soap aren't gonna kill us, but some of them will end up dead. Is that what you want? <sighs> now, I hate to say it, but they want to be on the battlefield. It's time you gave up this fantasy. Eli, he said they'd rise up against us if we bring the last kid back. There, you see? Ignore his demands. Don't let him return to quarters. That attitude is contagious. We lose control over them for good. For the time being, we've confiscated those handmade weapons. We're bumping up security and the number of psychiatric counselors. As for Eli, he needs some very special care. You mean solitary? Well, we can't leave him in contact with the other kids. If you won't do it, I will. Boss, keep working on extracting those kids. The kids you brought back to base have laid out the situation. They all escaped to each of their home villages, or were trying to get home, and lost their way. Not that homesickness is gonna explain everything we've seen. Each of their home villages? They were trying to raise troops for the rebellion. You really think these kids have an armed uprising? You read the report of the security team members who had a rock thrown at them. There'll be a riot if we don't do something. And no, this is because you didn't act fast enough. Fine. I'll admit you were right this time. <sighs> Seal off the kids' quarters from outside contact before it's too late. All right. Eli said his rebellion would start when the last kid is brought back, right? You better be ready to meet him head on if it really happens. Yeah. You should have left it to me in the first place. Boss, they're just kid. We have a responsibility to see that those kids make it. It's not about feeling protective or the pros and cons. I hate kids. That's exactly what Boss, I Boss, that's a serious injury. It won't heal on its own. You'll need to treat it with first aid. That's the spark that kept me going, you know? I wanted to show those adults what I was made of. Wanted to get back at them one day. But before I knew it, I was all grown up. Never saw it coming. All of a sudden, people treated me as an adult. Some adult I turned out to be. But I feel like if my life had been different, if the adults I knew had been different, I could have grown up better. Yeah, that's it, all right. I wanted to use those kids to test that theory. That's all this was. From their point of view, I'm no different from the assholes who gave me- Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. I'll talk it out with them. If that's still possible. Boss, there are still kids out there. Bring them back safe. Boss. It's me. Eli's revealed what he wants. He wants to speak with you. With Big Boss. He just said, bring my father here. Eli's too smart for his own good. No way to tell what he's thinking. All we know for sure is his men are important to him. That means we can use the escaped kids as leverage in any negotiation. Once you've brought the last one back, I'll interrogate him. If the kids do rise up, we'll meet them full force. End of story. I didn't want things to turn out like this. We could have prevented it, but it's too late now. If Eli means to take this all the way, he's gonna force us to do the same. Boss, go get that last kid. The CFA are gearing up for a large-scale attack against Angola's MPLA government. They're assembling an armored column to the north of Nova Braga Airport and will be ready to move soon. We've been contracted by the MPLA to put a stop to them. But the Civil War will keep burning on, whether we accept this job or not. Another East-West proxy war with the Communist MPLA on one side and the capitalist-funded CFA on the other. An endless seesaw of blood and violence played out in the hands of the superpowers. I had my doubts at first, but I think we should take this job. Skullface is gone, but Cypher still remains. Competition with rival PFs will only get more intense. For us to survive, we need to expand our organization and get strong enough that no one can threaten us. So our only option is to fight and grow, and fight and grow. CFA are 
are assembling an armored column to the north of Nova Braga Airport. Your job is to wipe them out. Listen to the tape for the contract details. Just be aware that the column's commander served with 5 Commando, and later made a name for himself in South Africa's 32 Battalion. He's a hardened veteran, so don't take him lightly. Boss, I have a report from the intel team. The targets are now on the move. I've sent their predictive route to your iDroid. Check your map. Supplies Roger requested. That. Supply drop complete. That's an enemy gunship. Don't try to take down a gunship from the front. You won't win in a head-to-head -head shootout. Try to get behind it and take it down with missiles.
detected. The map has been updated. Complete. Analysis complete. Select a drop point. Supplies requested. Analysis complete.
on board. Leave the rest to us. momentarily. Analysis complete. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. What is the situation? Are you near the storm bay? Please select a landing zone.
Cease fire! <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> Marker place, marker place, marker play, marker play, marker placed. Boss, as we suspected, the mastermind behind the kid's escape was Eli. It's hard to believe. But apparently he'd been plotting an armed uprising against us. He could be hiding something else, too. Ocelot's gonna press him for answers. Get back here as quick as you can. <coughs> Where is he? I told you. Your father's not here. <clears throat> they're back. Yes, they're back. But don't get any bright ideas. Your quarters are under full surveillance. Your weapons privileges have been suspended. No more uprisings for you. Did you really think it would be that easy, Commander? You'll get your boys back. Hell, even see the boss too. But first... I need to know what you sent them to do. <clears throat> they wanted to leave. To their homelands. They wanted to go home. That's all. So they were just homesick then? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Militia warlords, PFs, the armies that murdered their families. Cousins, brothers, parents. They all had someone they wanted to kill. <laughs> I told them, last chance to face the world with no regrets. Last chance. You better be ready for your drag back here. Ready to face the world as enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I don't need you anymore. I just rig it to stir up the boys. Either way, he had to have been planning for this all along. Bidding farewell to the world. Boss, we're looking for the kids in Sohalampovis, but there's still no sign of them. We don't know if the chopper pilot is alive either. What have we gone and put in the hands of those kids? We don't know how bad this is until we find him. Also, regarding our concerns about Eli, I finished looking into whether or not he's a product of that project. I have an answer. I put it on tape. Give it a listen. Boss, I've updated the mission list. We've received some new job offers. The details are on your iDroid.
Boss, we've got the results of Eli's genetic tests. We can finally put this worry behind us. We used the PCR technique and conducted Welcome DNA home. fingerprinting of the copied DNA sequences. Neither is mainstream science yet, but the concepts and procedures are sound. Both tests say there is 0% chance that the two of you are blood relatives, meaning the results are negative. He's not your son, nor is he your clone. He's just another person. It was 12 years ago that Zero made plans to clone you. Eli's age and appearance certainly are a good fit. I admit the first time I saw him, I did a double take. But it looks like we were worried for nothing. Eli isn't your clone. But you might still have one somewhere out there. But if Eli isn't the boss's clone, why does he seem so obsessed with him? Not to mention having one hell of an attitude for his age. I don't know. Learning the truth about himself, cursing the fact he's a clone, bearing a grudge against selfish adults, and coming to hate who he was cloned from. Big boss. If that were really the case, I could understand it. I might even feel a bit sorry for him. Hmm. But no clone could have a totally different DNA fingerprint. And the test left no room for error. You yourself were there when we drew Eli's blood sample. Come to think of it, when we went to OKB Zero, he'd snuck onto a chopper and was there. Yeah. He was acting strange even then. Or actually from a little before that time. That was exactly when we began these tests. Maybe he suspected something when we drew the sample, not knowing what we were doing to him, and becoming mistrustful of us. Hard to say. Eli's had an attitude problem from day one. So what is he then? Well, if he's gonna tell us that himself, we'll need to get him to open up more first. The day the research facility holding Volgan burned down, a Soviet jumbo passenger jet happened to crash nearby. Far away to the north of that hospital in Cyprus. On board the Roger. Plane, a young boy who was being studied at the same facility. The plane fell to Earth from over 8,000 feet, but the boy's body was the only one not recovered. At almost exactly the same time as the crash, Volgan awoke in that facility. According to the Research Institute's documents, the gifts this boy demonstrated included psychokinesis and telepathy. To protect his mind from being inundated with other people's thoughts, he always wore a kind of gas mask. A rudimentary form of psychic insulation, apparently. We don't know where this boy is, but if Skullface is connected to him, we may cross paths with him yet. This boy is part of a new age where nothing we understand about the world makes sense anymore. Don't let your guard down. About Eli, Mission I list some updated. We know how he got it moving. It was Emmerich. He used the kids in the staff living quarters to carry out his repairs. We got the details on tape. You're gonna wanna hear this. your goal in having the children repair Sahalanthropus? I just answered their questions. I had no idea they would actually try to fix it. I mean, can you imagine a child piloting it? Oh, sure. Easily. It wouldn't work. I bet it's just like riding a bike. I said it didn't work. It... Who did you try? I, I didn't. Did you put your son in it? Uh, we never did that. His name was, uh, Hal, wasn't it? I, I thought you said you never saw his face. But you made him pilot Sahalanthropus. You used him in your experiments. He wanted to get in. It was such a short time we had. So he was with you. We were happy. You're still happy now. Changing your lies to suit the listener, and getting by slipping through the cracks. Building layer upon layer of convenient stories until nothing means anything to you anymore. You're happy all the time, because you don't even notice you're doing it. Think hard. Who are you really? 
You're not a victim, and you're not the silent majority. You're a perpetrator and a petty hypocrite. The real world doesn't make you suffer. It's the other way around. <laughs> 